Hey all, welcome on a day with Stack. So, in this video, we will learn that how we can develop a REST API documentation. So, any backend developer who develop a REST API endpoint, at some point of time, he or she had to develop a documentation of that API endpoint because what happened that generally after developing a REST API endpoint or uh, at the time of development, we have to send this REST API endpoint data to the front-end developer. So front-end developer according to their need had to integrate the REST API endpoint with their app or a website. So what will happen that at the older time, uh, front-end developer ask a back-end developer that which REST API endpoint for responsible for this kind of data or what are the parameter I had to send on this REST API endpoint and what are the response I will get from it. So with help of documentation what will happen that we specify the thing like suppose you can take example of login endpoint of my blog server where I specify that these are the parameters you have to send on the body and this thing you will get on the response in form of example. So if successfully login happen then we will see the body will get a token and message success and other example also are there. So all these things we can do the using the postman. So we have to do the documentation for each of the thing like this is the for the post method and uh, suppose we want to get the data using the get method then also we have to do the documentation where we will see that that if you call this rest API endpoint then you will get the this kind of data so let's see that how we can do the documentation with help of postman so you just have to go on a postman if you didn't install the postman just install it and uh, the bonus thing is that I created a repository where I uploaded a code for a simple REST API for the checking purpose. So in the simple REST API, we have a full REST API endpoint. First one is root, second one is register, and third one is check value. So don't bother about it just go on a description and uh, go on the repo link and clone it and hit the npm install and after installing it just hit the npm run dev then your local server will run and you can test it on your postman so don't bother about the code I'm just taking the help of this thing because I want to show you that how we can do the documentation. So for that we have to run a server. So let's go on a postman and uh, do the documentation. So you just have to make a collection first. If you go on a postman and uh, just here you will see the create a collection. If you didn't see uh, any collection button over here just go here in a new tab and select a collection just give the name just like I'm giving a name like postman documentation you can give the description like hello I mean you can give a description in a markdown format and uh, here now we created a collection now inside a collection if you right click then you have an option to add a request. Let's add a request and you can specify a request name also like root API. So I will show you that how we can see it. So we have a one request over there and its type is get type. Just go here and specify your endpoint. So for our case the endpoint will be HTTP localhost because we are running on a local host and the port number will be 5000 and I already told that we have a root API endpoint if I will hit the send just we did a testing 
and you we will get a response over here so what you can do specifically that after changing anything hit the save and here we have an option called save response so if you click on a save response and you if you click on a save as an example then you will go on a, another page where the you can specify the example name so the name will be root api successfully called okay then hit the save as example so what happen if you uh, save it as example let's see that what will happen so just the collection which you made there have a play button click on a play button and view in a web so if we view in a web then automatically a page will open on your default browser just wait for that and uh, let me loading it so here the collection name which we made it and here the first api request which which we added on a collection and you can see the example which we created just right now i mean the root api successfully called example we just now saved and here is the response and this is the endpoint so basically here you can also do the documentation i mean you can also here you can edit it and after editing it you have to publish it i will show that how we can publish it and uh, let's go on a postman we can add something over here like we can create a new folder over here so let me create a new folder i will show you that how it will be very important for us so let me create a folder name like user and you can give again here a description it will be a markdown format like hash double hash triple hash something like that always give a description and uh, it will be very easy for us and in the user folder we can again make a request after making a request only our request will add on a collection so the request name will be register endpoint because we will do the registration so hit the save and uh, just go on that endpoint and uh, if you remember i told you that we have a register endpoint and the method is post method so at the time of registration we use a register endpoint and we send something on the body so i will show you that how we can do the documentation of it just change the method from get to post and hit the save and in the body user raw and in the text at uh, json in the body we have to send something called username dev stack and the uh, password and hit the save and click on a send okay sorry i have to add the uh, endpoint also http localhost slash register and click on a send and we get a response back from the server and uh, after each point of time hit the save and we can save as an example and here we will add a successful or hit the save as an example then let's go on a browser where we launch our api documentation hit the refresh wait for the thing and now we can see that our documentation which we made right now is came here and you can see that in the body what are the parameter i have to send is shown over here and what are the response i will get are there in the example 
Now the last thing is that we have to add a multiple example. So let's see that how we can add a multiple example. So for that I will use a uh, another REST API endpoint. And one thing I didn't show you that in the REST API endpoint we made a folder and uh, in the user folder we have the register endpoint. So it will be very easy that uh, if we have a multiple kind of endpoint like if we want to make a folder for the registering a user, login a user, all those will become in a one folder and for the profile data like getting a profile data, updating a profile data or posting a profile data will come on to the another folder. So with help of that the existing will be make easy. So always make a folder and always do the proper documentation like add the thing here that what this API endpoint will do. So it will easily, uh, it will be very helpful for the front end developer. So let's do the last thing then we will wrap up the video. So let me make another folder like uh, check in the folder we will add uh, another request and the name will be check prime number. So basically it will check the prime number. So So just go on a check and uh, hit the check prime number and uh, in the server I added a endpoint for the checking a prime number. So basically what we'll do that if the if the value which we which I will send from the REST API endpoint is prime number then it will send a true otherwise it will send a false. So don't bother about it just do the see the thing that how we can do the documentation because irrespective of any framework like I'm using the ExpressJS and you can see the tutorial on ExpressJS and find the link on the description and uh, if you use a uh, Django or Laravel or Spring Boot irrespective of any framework you have to do a REST API documentation so the method I am just using over here is the same for the other framework also. So, so just don't bother about the ExpressJS framework. So here I will see the check endpoint. In the endpoint if I will provide a 1, let's see what will happen. So I am getting a true because I did a silly mistake on the condition that here I just use the percent %2 and uh, I had to use over here percent %2 equal equal to zero then only it will run fine. So you just focus on the REST API endpoint documentation that how we can do and after getting a response save as an example and hit the thing like event number and hit the save and just go on the same check prime number and after adding something over here just hit the save and let me pass a 2 and again send it and we got a true over here and save as an example again and uh, okay here we will add an event number hit the save example and here we will add an odd number my silly mistake hit the save as an example and after doing that just go on a browser where we launch the REST API endpoint or uh, hit, the, hit the refresh and here you will see that in the check prime endpoint we will get a two example first one is check prime odd second one is check prime even so if I will click on odd then you will see that if I will send a one then we are getting a status as a false and if I will click on a prime then you will see the status as a true and even number. So basically with help of the postman we can do the testing and while testing the REST API endpoint we also do the documentation. So use the postman wise fully and do the documentation and this documentation will help you the front end developer. To publish it just go on a 
publish button and click on a publish so here you can change the color and all those things you can customize this just do the quick tweaking and hit the publish collection and you will get a URL for the publishing so this URL will be easily accessible for the all the other user who want to access the your documentation so we are at the end of this video thank you all happy coding and please subscribe this channel because in the channel I am just making a video for the flutter react and uh, expresses all the full stack development related thing I am uploading a video as soon as possible thank you all see you on the next video